All right, LPES, good morning and happy Friday. Welcome to our last Friday feeling in the month of April. Next month is a really exciting month because for our Friday feelings next month, it is going to be May. And in the month of May, we are celebrating, um, sorry, Mr. Cook's coming down the hallway and I'm already laughing. Uh, next month, we are celebrating Mental Health Awareness Month. And I'm gonna tell you about something special that we'll be doing that month. Hi, Mr. Hi. Cook. <laughs> something special that we're going to be doing um, all next month on Friday Feels. So next month on Friday Feeling, we are going to be interviewing all these different staff members throughout our district. We do it every month, um, every year in the month of May. Sorry, my brain is a little scattered today. And so we are going to get to sit down with hopefully Mrs. Puri, the middle school counselor, hopefully uh, Ms. Calandrillo, the, uh, one of our school psychologists, Ms. Palamon, one of our school psychologists, and also Ms. Viscuso, our school social worker. So we will get to talk a little bit more about mental health and mental health awareness and talk with all of these different people in our school whose job is to help kids and people with their mental health. So, sorry, it's the end of the day, so my brain is a little scattered. There's lots of people around. But to start things off today, we are actually going to do something pretty special because as you know, today it was, or Thursday, <laughs> since you're watching this tomorrow on Friday, Thursday was take your child to work day. Some of you went with your parents to their jobs, so I hope you had a great time and got to learn a little bit more about what your parents do or your guardians do. Some of you maybe um, were here and got to meet your teacher's children or other people's children in the building. And so we're going to use some of those people who are guests in our school right now. I'm going to pass it over to somebody else. <laughs> Okay, my friends, today's a really special day here at LPES. It is Take Your Child to Work Day. And so I thought for today's Friday feeling, well, tomorrow's Friday feeling, it would be really fun to include one of our tinier special visitors. So let's see who we can find. Oh my goodness, I have the perfect person for this. This is Gianna, Mrs. Mazaka's daughter. Can you say hi, Gianna? Can you wave hello? Hi. Awesome. Gianna's going to help us out today by picking our ba -ba -da -ba, mindful morning card. So let me flip these over for you, Gianna. Okay. And you can pick any one. Go ahead. Pick any card. Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. Gianna picked recite five positive affirmations. That's a great one. Can I have a high five? Awesome, Gianna. Wave goodbye to everyone. Thank you. Wave goodbye, Mrs. Mazaka's class. <laughs> All right. That was so nice getting to see Mrs. Mazaka's little daughter, Gianna, picking our card for us. I think we've had that one before, too, the um, recite five positive affirmations. I think it's a great challenge for today because it is something that's pretty easy to do. You can do it all at once. If you sit down and think of five positive things to say to yourself um, all at the same time, you can spread it throughout the day so that you're reminding yourself of those positive affirmations or even over the weekend. Um, or you can come up with five right now and then use them as you need throughout the day or the weekend. So I always love that card when it comes up, especially with all the different positive affirmations we have hanging around our building. So right now I am in our principal's office because I snuck in here and we're doing our Friday feeling. Hi, Mrs. Bammer. Hi, Mrs. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in your space. Okay. <laughs> As I said, it's after school right now. Mrs. Bammer and I have a meeting in a few minutes. So I thought I would finish recording or do part of our Friday feeling as I was on my way down here. So boys and girls, in a minute, I'm going to kind of switch the screen around. You're going to get to see something else. But before that happens, I want to talk to you about something else that's really important and it has to do with what's coming up next. Sometimes when things don't go our way, it can be a really easy time for us to get frustrated, 
to lose our patience, to um, become angry or upset. And it happens to all of us. It happens to grown-ups. It happens to kids. It happens to me. <laughs> I'm sure it's happened to you. And that almost happened today because my computer wasn't working. It was giving me some problems. I had this whole video picked out that I was going to play for you today. And it just, it couldn't happen. So we had to pivot. We had to change what the plan was. And I felt myself getting frustrated and thought to myself, Mrs. Hepler, this is so not a big deal. There are so many bigger things in the world that are bigger problems. We really don't have to worry about this. We can figure it out. And I think you're gonna enjoy what we planned instead. So I'm gonna pass it over to myself with someone else too. Enjoy. All right, my friends. So I am really excited because I had something else planned for us today. I had a little video clip that I found for you online, but my internet is not working this afternoon. I know some teachers have been having problems with it. I restarted it, it didn't work. Not a big deal. This is a great lesson in us having to kind of pivot and do something different when we're not expecting to. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, what can we do? How can we fill the time of this Friday feeling with something that's interesting and fun and maybe a little different? And then all of a sudden, it clicked. I thought, woo, why don't we interview someone? Why don't we talk to someone? And then I started thinking to myself, who do I want to interview? Who could I talk to? And part of me thought, oh, maybe a teacher, maybe Mrs. Bammer, maybe somebody else. And then I thought, huh, there's someone in our school today who actually knows Mrs. Bammer better than any of us. And that is her son, Scott Bammer. Scott Bammer, can you say hi to the folks at home? All right, so I have Scott here with me today, and he was hanging out. Whose class were you in today? Miss Epitelli's. He was hanging out with Mrs. Epitelli's fourth graders. Shout out to our fourth grade. And what we did is we just came from her class, and Mrs. Epitelli's class came up with some questions for Scott about his mom, Mrs. Bammer. So we're all going to learn a little bit more about our principal today, and I thought that this would be kind of a fun, super different Friday feeling from what we're used to. All right, so Scott. First question for you is, what is your mom's ideal vacation? Is she like more of a beach person, more of a skier? Which one? So I would probably say beach person. Mm, yeah. She definitely likes to like relax on the sand. That's cool. Um, uh, so I oh. would probably say beach person, and she would probably want to go to Hawaii or something like that. Ooh, I like that answer. Very cool. Pause for just a second, then I'm going to ask you the next one. All right, so we're back. We had to change formats. Mr. Brophy is trying to work on my computer as we're doing the interview. So you were just saying you think your mom's more of a beach person. Yeah. Does she like to ski at all? Um, she does like to ski. Um, like, uh, I have a funny story about it. Yeah, go um, ahead. Please share. So when she was, um, like, she interviewed for uh, being a principal here uh, about, like, a couple years ago, like 13, uh, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. And she was actually skiing when the previous superintendent here um, hired her, like, she got a call from him when she was skiing, and saying that she got accepted to be a principal. Whoa, that is a cool story. I've never heard that one before. I appreciate that little tidbit, that inside scoop. All right, so that actually brings me to another question that came from Mrs. Epitelli's class. Do you know when your mom started working here? When did Mrs. Bammer become the principal? Twelve years ago, like, I was still in her stomach when she uh, started working here. She was on maternity league, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. called, and she came back um, once I was here. <laughs> once you were born. Yeah. <laughs> once you existed in the world. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. All right. Um, some other funny questions. I'm trying to think of them because they were on my phone. Uh, does your mom like spicy food? No. She does <laughs> not like spicy food because... One reason, um, I don't, like, I think it's partially me, but um, whenever we have nachos, whenever we go out to eat, which we normally always, because I love nachos, <laughs> um, we, whenever we get them, she always says no jalapenos probably, uh, because of me and also because she doesn't really like spicy food at all. Mm, all right, not a spicy family. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, another question from Mrs. Zepatelli's class was, what's your mom's favorite food? Do you know? Um... I don't really know, but I guess my best estimate would probably be, like, salmon or something. Because mm. she does, like, um, like grilled st uh, foods like that. Very cool. All right. I like that. Uh, do you remember any of the other questions they... Oh, what's your favorite movie Is was another oh, one that they asked. Okay. So, um, either one of the Harry Potter series, one of the movies for Harry Potter, or an old movie you guys probably wouldn't know. It's called The Burbs. Oh, I don't know that one. It's All a right. Tom Hanks movie. Cool. From like 1989. <laughs> you know the year and everything. Yeah. Wow. All I right. I watched it a couple weeks ago. It was actually really good. Oh, nice. 
All right, so either Harry Potter or the Burbs. And uh, one of the follow-up questions Mrs. Epitelli's class had was, if your mom was in a house for Harry Potter, which house would it be? Um, I would say if there was a house, I know there's not, but between Gryffindor and um, Ravenclaw because she's, like, smart and is very, like, knowledge. She has a lot of knowledge. Um, and... She's also like brave and uh, she's like adventurous and stuff like that. So that's I would say like both of the uh, houses together. Oh, that's that's a really nice thing to say about your mom, Scott. That's really cool. Awesome. Um, anything else you think we should know about your mom? Any like funny, silly things she does at home that the kids and folks here at LPS would be surprised about? Um, it's not exactly something surprised, but like. It's kind of something I think a stereotypical parent, like, all moms would do. Mm -hmm. um, but whenever, like, I try to wake her up in the morning, because mm -hmm. she says I'm her alarm clock because I get up way before her. <laughs> uh -huh. Whenever I try to wake her up, whenever she wakes up, she's like, ooh. <laughs> like, she gets scared. That's pretty Like, because she wasn't expecting me. <laughs> That's really funny. Awesome. So. Well, Scott, I learned a lot about my boss today, about Mrs. Bammer. I'm sure all the folks in our classroom watching did as well. I want to say thank you so much for interviewing with me today. You're welcome. Yeah, it was really nice of you. Normally, it's sometimes your mom and I on these things, so it's kind of cool to have you here instead. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank Thanks you. for visiting us today, too. <laughs> All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that special little surprise. Um, I know it was a different Friday feeling than what we were used to, but today was kind of a different day than what we're used to, too, with all of these visitors in the building and some of you being out. So many kids were out today to go to their parents' work, which was really cool and special, and we can't wait to hear about it um, as the rest of our Friday goes on. So we have one last thing that we need to do, and for this last thing, I'm going to step back out into the hallway because we have one last surprise. All right, friends, so that just about wraps up our Friday feeling for this week. But before we fully end our Friday feeling, we have one last thing to do, and that is to spin the wheel. I actually snuck into a room earlier today and left the wheel there so we could have another special guest spin the wheel for us. This morning, we had Mrs. Mazaka's little daughter, Gianna, pick one of our cards. And now we're going to end our day with one of the bigger kids that's here visiting us at LPES today. And this person is pretty special because he actually went to LPES. So I'm going to give you a hint who it might be because behind me, I have Mrs. Roller's kindergarten class. And so the person who's going to be spinning our wheel is... Cody Roller, one of our older students who right now is a freshman in high school. And so Cody's going to spin the wheel for us. Okay, Cody, go ahead. Give it a big, good, big, good spin. Let's see. What kindness challenge do we have for this week? It says, can you read it for them? It's kind Com of hard sideways. <laughs> compliment someone's work. Compliment someone's work. Do you think we can do that, kindergartners? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we can be looking out for our friends who are doing hard work, who are working nicely, who are handing in great things, or maybe um, making something beautiful like an art class, and we can compliment them. So that just about wraps up this week's Friday Feeling. Kindergartners, do you know how we end our Friday Feeling with what we say at the very end? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say it with me? Yeah. Let's try it together. So we're going to say, say kind LPS. Ready? One, two, three. Say kind LPS.